The population of a small Arizona town was 1,500 people in 2012 and 1,789 in 2014. Assume the growth rate is proportional to the population size. So we know this problem is an exponential growth problem because of the statement here that says assume the growth rate is proportional to the population size. So immediately we know that our, our general model will be our exponential model, y equals y sub 0 e raised to the kt. And in part a, when it asks us for the relative growth rate, that means that we're trying to find the value of k. So let's first organize the information that was given to us in this problem. So the two quantities that are changing are going to be uh, time. So we'll say that t is measured in years. In this case, we'll let it be the number of years since 2012, because 2012 was the earliest date that was given to us. And then our output, the other value that's changing, quantity that's changing, is of course the population. So we'll let y equal the number of people in this small town. And I always recommend that you organize the information in the problem in a table. So we're looking at this numerically. So at time zero, that would be in the year 2012, it says there are 1,500 people. And then two years later, in the year 2014, when t equals 2, there are 1,789 people. So we can use these two ordered pairs, if you will, to allow us to uh, write our model. So first we need to determine our y sub 0. That's going to be the population at time 0. And we're given that. We know that's 1,500. So that'll be substituted in for y sub 0. And now we want to go ahead and use the second point to help us solve for k. So I'm treating this, uh, these two values, 2, 1789, as an ordered pair, basically. And I'm just going to substitute when y is 1789, when we have 1789 people. That is when our t, when time, was 2. And this will allow us to go ahead and do a little algebra and solve for k. So we want to isolate the exponential expression by dividing. So divide by 1500. And then this is an exponential equation that I'll put in log form. So that would be log base e, which I'm going to go ahead and just write as natural log. So this will be the natural log of 1789 divided by 1500 is equal to k times 2. So k, the relative growth rate, will be the natural log of 1789 divided by 1500, that whole quantity divided by 2. Now you have two options. We don't want to round this number in any of our future computations. So you can either leave it like this in its exact form or you can go ahead and plug that into your calculator just to go ahead and get the, the decimal version of it. So in this case, and I recommend that you pause the video and go ahead and do the calculation in your calculator to make sure you're not making any sort of keystroke mistakes, but we should get up approximately 0 0.088. And this is a positive value, so that makes sense because the population is growing. We should have a positive relative growth rate. However, I don't really want to use this decimal in my future computations, so this would be a good opportunity to use the store feature on your calculator. So if you take a look at your calculator, look at the lower left side, look above the on key, and you're going to see a key that says STO with a little arrow, which stands for store. So if you type in the natural log of 1789 divided by 1500, all of that divided by 2, so you have the long decimal version of this, then hit your store button and on your calculator you should see a little ANS for answer with an arrow. Then you can store this value as any letter on your calculator. So if you want to store it as K, then you could go ahead and do alpha and find K on your calculator. 
or you could just store it as X if you wanted to. But I recommend that you use the store feature here. That way, in our future computations, we won't use the rounded decimal, we'll use our stored value. So I'm just going to make a little note to myself here that I stored this number in my calculator. So we're ready to answer the parts of the question. So part A is essentially done. What is the relative growth rate? We have a value that k is approximately 0 0.088. Part B. B says write an equation for the population growth at time t. Well, we have our equation here. We just didn't know the k value, and now we do. So our value for k, when we substitute it in, then will give us the equation, 1500 e raised to the 0 0.088 t power. And I'm okay with you writing the, the rounded decimal here in your model, as long as you recognize that you're not actually going to use that value for parts c and d. So part c says estimate the population in 2018. So in the year 2018, t, t will be equal to 6. So essentially, you're just needing to find y of 6. Once again, on the calculator, you're going to have 1500 e, and then you go ahead and well, you'll type in whatever variable you stored k as. So like I stored it as k, so I'm literally going to type in k times 6. That way, I'll get the most accurate answer possible. And I'm going to go ahead and round to two decimals even though you can't have a part of a person. But I like to go ahead and put the decimals here so you can check your accuracy on your calculator. It should come out to about 2,544.77 people. That would be how many people were projected to have in this town in the year 2018. Now for part D, it asks us to find the rate of growth in 2013. And you'll notice we actually haven't done any calculus up to this point. This has just been an algebra problem. But now it's asking us for the rate of growth. So now we're looking for the derivative, the rate of change. So we're needing to find the derivative, we want y prime, in the year 2013. So that would be y prime of 1. y prime of 1. So let's go ahead and use our model from part B and let's find y prime. So you'll notice that this model is actually a composite function. So thinking about my outer and my inner pieces, my outer function would be 1500 e raised to the some unknown power. And then my inner function is going to be the exponent, the 0 0.088t. So your derivative, y prime, will be 1500 e to the something. And your something is the 0 0.088t. And then the chain rule says we'll chain on with multiplication the derivative of g. In this case, that derivative is 0 0.088t. And then we'll go ahead and substitute 1 into this derivative and see what we get. This gives us, again rounding to two decimal places, about 144.31. Now remember, this value here, this is not a population. This is not the number of people because this was the derivative. This is the rate of change of the population. So our units here would be people per day. This is how fast the population in this small town was changing in the year 2013. This little town was increasing, the population was increasing at a rate of about 144 people per day in the year 2013.